God bless you guys. I just want to get straight to this video. The Lord has given me a prophetic word for the church, for the body of Christ, especially for those who are really sold out, who want to do mighty works for the Lord. He was showing me that we're in a new season. There's a new season for the body of Christ. And he's looking for those who are willing to stand in the gap. He's looking for those who are willing to cry out and say, Lord, use me in this new season. There are people in the last season who said, Lord, use me, use me mightily. And he's looking for those same people and more to step up and say, God, use me. I want to be used mightily. When we look at people like Catherine Coleman, like Pastor Benny Hinn, when we look at great men of God who are being used mightily, like Pastor Chris, when we look at people in, who were prophets of old, people who were being used mightily in the past generations, we see that they had a life where they continuously were crying out to the Lord to use them mightily. And God is calling His church to call out and cry out to be used mightily because there's an outpouring of His Spirit that's happening. There's revival, there's awakening that's happening in this new season. And He's looking for people to stand in the gap, to cry out, to be used in this season mightily. There's many people from the past who have decided, hey, I'm kind of going down this line now. There's some people who were sold out before, who are crying out for God to use them, and they're being used mightily, but something tainted, and now they're starting to go in a little bit of a different direction. He's looking for those same people to repent. To come back and say, Lord, I'm sorry. I was crying out for you to use me this way. Lord, continuously use me in this way. And I've even seen temptation in my own life where that's happened. And I remember when I first began to travel as a missionary, before that, I was crying out. I was saying, Lord, use me like Billy Graham. Use me to do huge crusades and all of these things. And then he finally sent me out. And I began to still pray these prayers, but it became less and less. And I want to encourage you, in this season, God is sending people out. He's sending out those who are truly his sons, those who truly are his daughters, and he wants to use us mightily. But there's something that's going to happen. For those who say, Lord, use me mightily. Use me like this person. Use me greater measures. Right? He's going to bring them through process. There's going to be things that come up in your life. There's going to be people who call you crazy. There's going to be jobs you're going to have to leave. There's going to be uh, plans with family and certain things that you're going to have to cancel. There's going to be places that he's going to call you to go, and you're not going to know anyone there. There's going to be things he's going to tell you to do that might be very, very difficult. But he's looking for you to say, hey, you're wanting this thing to be accomplished? Use me. So many people the Lord was showing me. So many people, they're waiting for God to say, hey, I want to use you like this. When you already have a desire to be used in a certain realm. No, you know what God wants to do and you want to be that person. You say, Lord, I see your will. I see what you want to do. Lord, use me. Use me. Use me. Because his will is going to be accomplished. He's, yielding, he's waiting for someone, a yielded vessel to say, hey, I'll be used. When you see even the working of Reinhard Bonnke, he's a man of God who led millions to Christ in Africa. I call that movement even Blood Wash Africa. So many people who are saved in Africa is because of that ministration. Right? But he talks about how someone actually was called to go to Africa before him. And they kind of went off and they were decided not to. So he said, Lord, use me. I'll go. And he went. And all of these crazy things started breaking forth. So in the same way, he's calling for his church, his believers, to say, Lord, use me mightily. I want to be used by you, Lord. I'm here. I'm here. So I want to pray for everyone here. I want to pray for everyone here. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, may you use mightily every single person here as a voice to their generation, as a mighty testimony of what you can do. May they be submitted to your process, and may they be used mightily. May they be used in greater measures than Pastor Benny. May they be used in greater measures than people that they respect, Lord, for your glory's sake and not for their glory's sake. In the mighty name of Jesus, we lay our lives down to you, Lord, and we submit to your process. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. I love you guys so much. If you receive this word, comment down below, amen, and subscribe, like, check out more of my content. I love you guys so much, and God loves you so much more. God bless you.